assalamu alaikum doctors now let's talk about the autoimmune hepatitis so autoimmune hepatitis means that our body own immunity activated against our own liver cells and cause inflammation of that liver now that is autoimmune hepatitis it is mostly associated with the human leukocyte antigen it is mostly associated with the human leukocyte antigen and human leukocyte antigen it is present in almost every cells of the body and if there is slightly changes occur in this human leukocyte ant antigen or we can say if there is any mutation occur in human leukocyte antigen so our own body recognizes it as a foreign antigen so our body make antibodies against those specific antigen so that's the, the autoimmune hepatitis it is most likely associated with the human leukocyte antigen and it is present in almost every cells of the body their mutation lead to the activation of antibodies against it now autoimmune hepatitis it is further classified into two types that is type 1 type 1 autoimmune hepatitis and type 2 autoimmune hepatitis so type 1 autoimmune hepatitis it is more common in middle age people middle age people plus older people and it has some antibodies it has some antibodies in the form of A N A S M A and A M A. That is anti nuclear antibodies, anti smooth muscle actin, and anti mitochondrial antibodies. As if this is a liver cell, so there will be nucleus, there will be endoplasmic reticulum, and there will be mitochondria. So, whenever antibodies produ produce against these hepatocytes, so this antibody it is produced against this mitochondria it is produced against nucleus and it produced against endoplasmic reticulum so it have antibodies in the form of ANA, SMA and AMA now in another end we have type 2 autoimmune hepatitis it is mostly occur in younger individual younger individual it have anti liver kidney microsome type 1 antibody so it is likely present in the younger individual it have anti liver kidney microsome type 1 antibody and anti liver cytosol antibodies and a lot of dead etc now let's talk about the morphology so if the morphol in the morphology you will find that there is there will be necrosis and inflammation and the involved hepatocytes along with that there will be plasma cells infiltration plasma cell infiltration and there will be rosette hepatocytes so students it is all about the autoimmune hepatitis i hope you will get the lecture thank you so much